Okay, in this video what I'm going to look at is using um, headings throughout the uh, document and how to uh, change them. So, as you recall in the last one we made our title page um, and what I've got here is I'm going to break this report down a wee bit um, into different areas. So, this here, um, I'm going to use this as my introduction, so I'm just going to take a new line and go up one and just type in introduction and this paragraph here is about prehistoric so I'll put a wee header in there prehistoric the next one we've got is medieval now what we'll do here with the next one, I don't want to put a heading in every paragraph so I'm going to say the 16th to 19th centuries and I'll put in one that says 20th century and I'll put one in here that says today or modern times and one down here that says conclusion Oops. Now, in the modern times one, you'll see that they talk about um, 20th century one, sorry, I'm going to look at. What we've got here is we've got a wee bit about music, so what I'm going to do is take a new paragraph here and put another heading in there and call it music. Now, I'm going to make that a wee bit different. So, I've got my headings in here. Now, I've got introduction. So, I can just double click on introduction to highlight the word. And I'm going to go up here. Um, for heading one and prehistoric, I'm going to choose that as heading one, and you'll see what it does it makes the font bigger, <coughs> but it also marks it up as a heading. So, medieval heading one, 16th 19th centuries heading one, 20th century is a heading one. Now, music, what I'm going to do, I'm going to make music as a heading two. Now it's just a wee bit smaller, um, but you'll see the role that plays in a second. In modern times, I'll make that a heading one as well. Conclusion and heading one. So <coughs> I've given all my um, the document lots of um, different headings. So what I can do though is if I want to change how the heading looks, oops, I can right click on heading one and go to modify. So what you can do is you can change the colour. So if I change that to, a, let's go for a dark green and make it bold and a wee bit bigger. And I'll click on OK. What you see is everything that I've used, heading one, goes dark green and a wee bit bigger. Obviously music doesn't change because that's heading two. So again, if I want to change heading two, right click on heading two and modify. And I'll make that a wee bit uh, more stand out. I will go now. I want to make that kind of bright pink, so I'm going to click on more colours and I'm just going to go in here and there we go. I'll choose that as my colour and again I'll make it bold. I click on OK and you'll see that that's a different colour from the rest of them. <coughs> so, a couple of things I, I want introduction is set on its own page so what I'm going to do here now I can't really show this on the um, the screen but I'm going to use control which is the bottom key on my uh, bottom left key of my keyboard control and enter and that gives me a page break so introduction now sits on a page on its own and what I'm going to do as well I'm going to make 20th century control and enter and put that on a page of its own as well and I'll put the conclusion on a page of its own too. Now you can break that up any way you see fit. The reason I'm doing it like that is to um, give it a slightly different, um, a slightly more content to it. So the last thing I'm going to do in this wee bit is I'm going to show you how to do a footer. Now the way I do a footer is I would tend to double click down at this area here and you'll see that the footer comes up. But I'm going to try and do it another way. It's the exact same thing. I'm going to go to insert and I'm going to see if I can find footer, there it is there. 
So add a footer and what I can do here is you can either have a blank or banded or however you want it to be. You can see there's different ways of making it look. Um, let's go for the I'll go for this one horizontal. Okay, and you'll see there's page one. It doesn't count the cover page in it. And you can put the date in there. But what I can also do here is if I don't want the date, I can double click on date. That takes the date out of every page. What I could also do though is put in, maybe she has chosen a better one. Because this is a bit clumsy. Right, in fact, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take that footer out, I don't like that one. So I'm going to do Control Z on my keyboard or click on the undo button and it takes it back out. And I'm just going to put in a different footer. So insert. And again, go to footer. And I'm just going to go with three columns. So, in here, I'll put in page. I'll put a space in. And I'll just put in Glasgow. And I'll put in my name, Michael. Now, if I click out of the footer, you'll see there every page says Glasgow Page and Michael. But I wanted to actually have the page number. So, I'm going to double click on there. I'm going to go up to, uh, up to insert and you'll see this page number and I'm all going to do is I'm going to put page number at current position and there we go page 2 comes in now if I scroll up page 1 page 3 so it automatically updates it so anything you put in the footer uh, goes in each page okay so that's how you put in headings and um, change the headings and put in our um, footer as well.